Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Today I'll be solving a CFA sample question that was sent to us by Kevin. And to those of you guys who will be writing the CFA this coming Saturday, good luck to you and I hope you find this helpful. The question reads, Jane Akumpora is calculating equivalent analyzed yields based on the 1.3% holding period yield of a 90-day loan. The correct ordering of the annual money market yield, MMY, effective yield, EAY, and bond equivalent yield is? So we've been given three different options in terms of the order in which MMY, EAY, and BAY are to follow. And I think the best way to approach this is first to start by defining them. Um, let's start with the annual money market yield, MMY. Since the money market yield does not involve any compounding and is based on a 360-day year, the equation simply becomes the holding period yield multiplied by 360 divided by the number of days, t. That is 1.3% multiplied by 360 over 90. And this simply reduces to 5.2%. In the case of bond equivalent yield, BEY, this is simply, this is simply equal to 2 times the semi-annual yield. Since we're compounding at a semi-annual rate, this simply becomes 2 times the HBY at 1.013 to the power of half of the year, 182.5 days, divided by 90 minus 1. This then becomes 5.31%. We can now move on to EAY, which is simply the equivalent money market yield, and we find that it can be defined by 1 plus the holding period yield to the power of 365 divided by t minus 1. That is 1.013 to the power of 365 divided by 90 minus 1, which is simply 5.38%. Now, we now we're ready to analyze our result. Since we found that MMY is equal to 5.20, BEY is equal to 5.31%, EAY is equal to 5.38%, it means that MMY is less than BEY, which is less than EAY, and therefore B is correct. We hope you found this helpful, and again, good luck on your CFA exam this coming Saturday. Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.